Okay, guys, last step, finally, for this project. Um, we're going to create a, the first thing we're going to do is create a composite layer. And again, the hotkey, which is very strange for this, is Control, Alt, Shift, E. You'll see I have a composite layer up here. So I can hide everything else. And now on this thing has all of my layers composited into one and created a new layer. The next thing we want to do is add a add some text over the top of it and I want you to choose your words carefully I actually did a search for awesome words or really cool words or something and I came up with one that I'd never heard before and and I'll show it to you it is right here it's ineffable which means too great to be expressed in words which is um, maybe a little over the top as a description of my life and of me but um, maybe a little arrogant but I sort of like it as a word so I'm going to use that um, going back to photo P I'm gonna get my text tool and I'm just gonna type and I'm gonna try to get it close to the middle for now but we'll use alignment tools in a minute to get that fixed uh, it's loading it up and so in all caps in F -a -bowl. I think I spelled it right let me double check I N E F F A B L E I believe I spelled it right um, I'm gonna hit the check mark on that just to lock it in and with my my text tool retain I'm gonna hit center align to center um, I'm also going to first increase the size quite a bit so I can see it and then I'm going to choose a very bold um, I'm going to use a choose a bold font so I'm going to scroll down quickly I'm going to find something distant galaxy no I don't want this to be about Star Wars I'm going to choose something Garamon. that'll sort of well, let's try Garamon. Um and again playing with my size a little bit maybe that's not quite bold enough I want to choose something a little bit with thicker and bolder so I found this one called Erica one it's preview it's really super big um, I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller because I don't want it to go all the way across my screen I'm gonna move it up a little bit and before I do anything else I'm gonna shift select my layer 2 and then go up to my alignment tools I have my move tool selected I'm going to go up to my alignment tools and I'm going to center horizontally. And it looks like I did a pretty good job initially, so nothing really happened. Watch left, center, right, center. So we're good there. Okay, now what we want to do with our text is I'm going to add a little bit of a warp to it, just a tiny bit of a warp. So again, I'm going to grab my text tool, choose warp, and now we have all these options. Um, style. I want to do a slight little arc don't go crazy with this guys make it a little bit subtle I have a lot of round things going on um, I don't want to really block my family um, either so I'm going to do that I'm going to click OK we can go back into that warp by the way if we want to we can undo that um, and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller again so I'm not I'm not blocking too much stuff I'll leave it about right there and again, we can redo this if we have to. It's, this is going to be totally up to you. But what I like to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer, hide the bottom one in case I need to go back in and play with the texts, uh, the text layer. I'm going to rasterize this layer. And now if I hold down control and I click in my thumbnail, it's going to select those pixels, right? But I don't want those pixels. What I want are the pixels that lie in my main layer. Okay, so now if I hit Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste, um, believe it or not, I've got that text in there it's just hidden. So, But now what happens when we want to do an effect, like what I prefer to do in this case is a bevel and a boss. Now we start playing with sliders and get it so that this pops out. Um, size up a little bit. I don't want it to look too bubbly. Soften. I like to add some depth to make it nice. Um, and poppy hard to read that though still right so what happens if we do mm, we can do a color overlay boom super red right I don't want it to be that red um, I might take the let's see what happens if we play with blend mode so again this is going to be up to you to do some of this stuff ineffable looks a little bit too bright when I do it that way um, but actually what happens if I go Where was it? Mm, don't like that. I sort of like that. I can also take the opacity down. 
just a little bit so we can see through it a little bit, but we can also read it at the same time. So that's your goal, right? You want it to be legible from a little bit of a distance and you want to be able to see some of the stuff that's behind it. So I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to click OK. And then all you have to do is save your PSD file out one more time. I'm going to save this as 12 final. I had cap locks on on accident. Well, I'll leave it save. Flatten. We got everything in there. Now export as JPEG. And this is what you're going to turn in. Always have the quality up. Save. Uh, weird that it saved there's 10 images. I'm just going to do portrait. And I'm going to put final so I know which one to submit. Save. And we're done.